Team of the season is here, and if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins over Team of the Season, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a massive 10% discount, and you can also get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. Today we're going to have a look at my 4 3 one, two tactics. A lot of you have been asking what my favorite formation is, what tactics do I actually use the most. And I thought seeing as we're coming to the end of team of the season now, in terms of we know all the squads, all the players come out, I thought I would run it through for you and show you exactly what I do play. So let's get straight into it and have a look. It's the four, three, one, two, like I said. And for me, the four, three, one, two is quite an exciting formation. It's probably not the best formation, but I really like it. And if you're playing to have fun and to enjoy FIFA, then this is definitely one of those formations that, that can help you do that. So let's get into it. Defensive style is on balanced, okay? So if you are able to pressurize by yourself in this formation, especially through the middle, it can make it very, very difficult for teams to um, play through you because you have the three central midfielders, you have the cam, obviously the two strikers. And if you're uh, if you're good at your right stick switch in your second man press, there's no need to play around with this at all, okay? So just leave it on balanced. Uh, defensive width, 40. Really, really like to be nice and narrow with the 4-3-1-2. Again, why? Because the numbers in the middle of the pitch are the strength of this formation. So that's what I want to do. And a lot of people, everyone loves trying to go through the middle, twisting, turning, dancing. So I want numbers in there and I want to be tight. Defensive depth, I have on 50. There's no need to play around with that. There really isn't, unless you've got slow defenders. But if you do, go and buy some fast ones, basically. Uh, build up play, balanced, okay? So as much as this is quite a narrow formation, I still do use the wings. And that's about knowing how to use your formation. So build up play, we want on balance. So we've got the best of both worlds. So we've got a bit of everything so that we can slow it down if we want to, or go fast or go down the wings, you know, go high, go short. We want everything available to us. We don't want to be pigeonholed into one style of play. Chance creation, direct passing. Always going to be this FIFA. Might change going into the next game, but for now, it's going to stay direct passing. Why? Because the players make better runs with that turned on, basically. Uh, offensive width, 50. Now, just because it's narrow, doesn't mean that you need to go and do this, okay? We can create our own width, okay? And it's about knowing how to use the formation. Again, I've said that time and time again. And I think ultimately when people use tactics and certain formations and then they say, oh, it's rubbish, it doesn't work, I've lost every game or whatever, it's because they don't know how to use it or what they're supposed to be doing. And offensive width just needs to be left alone, okay? If you want to have huge amounts of width, then you need to go and play a different formation is the uh, long and short bit. Players in the box, seven, corners and free kicks on two. But to be aware, the higher you go, the more chance you've got of getting counter-attacked. Right, player instructions. This is where it gets um, a little bit more eventful. But guys, before we do, just, just want to remind you that I am still offering online coaching. I know a lot of you have been in contact with me, so thank you. If you're looking to improve at the game with your rivals, your foot champ scores, then get in touch with me. Email address is martinefifa88 at gmail.com and we can work something out for you. Right, so back... Four. Let's start with the two centre backs. Two centre backs, of course, are on stay back while attacking. That's never going to change. However, the two full backs, this is where we could differ a little bit, okay? I'm very good at triggering runs and getting my full backs involved in the attack off my own back. And you do want to get the full backs forward, okay? If you're not that great at that, then you could go for um, overlap, okay? or you could play around with it and go join the attack. The choice is yours, okay? But we do want them to get them involved. So I've got Ashley Cole here and Bali Mumba, actually, um, going down the English route, if I'm being honest, this year. Um, but I use both of them to get down the wings. And where I've got Harry Kane and Muller up front, I get a lot of crosses in. So obviously you need to use those fullbacks as your width. But like I said, I'm very good at triggering... Um, runs or making one two so i'm able to get them up the pitch 
without having to adapt to the player instructions. Why is that an advantage to me? Because it means that they're only going forward when I want them to, okay? If you're not very good at that, you can just change um, the player instructions, okay? Right, into the midfield. So the middle one of the three is the one that you want to be um, more defensive. They need to be able to win the ball for you, okay? If they've got some attacking creativity about them as well, then that would be fantastic. But the bare minimum is, is that they can look after you defensively. I've got Declan Rice here. And I've said this in a few text video. I actually think he's all right. When I first packed him, I was like, oh. But he's done a really good job for me in this position. I'm not going to lie at all. Defensively, he's really sound. Very, very good. Um, stay back while attacking and cover centre. Okay? It's very, very simple. We just want them to shield the defence and be that player in the way. And also, when we're attacking, we know that we can come back to them if we need to. Okay? Right. Onto the right centre mid and the left centre mid. Okay? These two boys help you provide width as well. They'll go off like that. And they'll also make runs for you through the middle of the pitch as well so that you're not predictable, okay? I've got Joe Cole and Odegaard. There's a nice mixture there. You don't want anyone too attacking. Um, and equally, you don't want defensive players. So I wouldn't play Declan Rice as right centre mid as an example because he wouldn't offer enough going forward. However, they're both on get forward and cover centre. So from an attacking point of view, they're providing us with uh, lots of support. And then from a defensive point of view, they're keeping it nice and solid in the centre of the pitch. Then up front, there's three. For me, all three of them are forwards, okay? So I've got Ryan Kent here. Yeah, I know that he's 85 rated, but he still does the job for me big time. Um, stay forward, keep all three of them um, up the pitch. Because when we break, we want options, okay? And often fire it in, or fire the ball into that cam, little one twos with the forwards, and then we can go and you get some really easy goals that way. Obviously, we've got direct passing turned on, and we've also got get into the box of crosses on that cam as well. So he's going to be making lots of decent movement. And then up top, I've got Kane and Muller. To be honest, I've got one on getting behind, um, but I'm triggering runs so much that. It doesn't really matter to me, um, but for yourselves, if you've got somebody that's very quick up front, so if you've got Mbappe, get him on getting behind, okay? You'd like to have one on getting behind and one just default, okay? To keep your opponent thinking, which is key. So guys, there we have it. There's my 4-3-1-2 custom tactics. I hope they help you. I'm sure they will, because I've been using them for a long time and I think they're very, very good. But if it has helped you, Please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.